Good afternoon, everyone. A perfect customer is one whose needs are a perfect fit for a company's mission. Authors Stacy Hall and Jan Brognias have written a book called Attracting the Perfect Customer. In this, they present a unique model for a new sales and marketing reality, one that they call the strategic attraction planning process. They believe that companies must spend less time on finding new customers and more time defining their missions and values more clearly so that the perfect customers can find them. If you are a business owner, as many of us in here are, and if not, just imagine, imagine your business consisting completely of customers who value your services, who pay you what you're worth, and who send referrals to your business on an ongoing and regular basis. There are six core principles that these two authors outline in their book. They call these the six standards of strategic synchronicity. The first of these is be on purpose with your mission. They recommend constructing a personal mission statement for your business. Become really clear about what your core values are. Examples of values include integrity, joyfulness, leadership, service, spirituality, dedication. Become clear about what resonates with you. Include these values in your mission statement. Make sure that all of your marketing materials embody and, and communicate these practices and principles and communicate clearly your mission statement. They recommend that your personal and business missions be fully aligned. The second principle of strategic synchronicity is understanding that you have the power to attract what you desire. If you can envision it, you can manifest it. Envision what it would actually feel like and look like to receive what you desire. They lead a visualization exercise in which you imagine a steady stream of perfect customers walking through your door. The third principle is like attracts like. This is the principle of reciprocity. The more clear we are about what we're offering and the more we value ourselves, the more others will value us. Really believe in yourself. Understand the tangible value of your own services. Make a list of what you desire and deserve to have in your business. Serve only those who want what you are best at providing. The fourth principle is choose collaboration, not competition. This one feels particularly important to me. I think many of us are familiar with the old marketing approach that says beat out the competition, bring as many people to your door as possible. The authors recommend a different approach, which is collaborate and cre create strategic alliances. I know in my own private psychotherapy practice, I've been surprised other therapists in town are one of my best referral sources. It's not that we're competing with each other, it's that the more we understand and respect each other, we know who would be a perfect fit for each one of us. There's an immediately apparent lack of fit with customers who aren't right for you. Interactions are usually confusing and unfulfilling. I'm sure we've all experienced this if we're business owners. Sometimes a customer comes to you who ends up taking your time, your energy, and your resources rather than adding to your business. Make sure to refer these people on. Stick with people who really do value what you're offering and want what it is that you're offering and will pay you what you're worth. The fifth principle is your customers and employees want you to succeed. Approach your business from this perspective. All of your customers want you to succeed. They value what you're offering. Give them feedback and ask them for feedback. Are you willing to receive their support? Again, you have to believe in yourself and what you're offering in order to do so. And is there an equal balance of giving and receiving? There's usually a natural desire to remain in association when this happens. The sixth and final principle is create an atmosphere of accomplishment. The authors emphasize the universal law of gratitude here, which I think we're all familiar with. The more you have and are grateful for, the more will be given to you. Practice being grateful for the customers you have attracted and the ones you are in the process of attracting. Start each day with gratitude, end each day with gratitude. Focus on the accomplishments you've already created in your business. The authors have a particularly powerful quote on something they call the perfect fit. I think this concept applies not just to customers, but really to everything in our life. Friends, partners, Toastmaster groups. You recognize a perfect customer the moment you meet one. An immediate spark of attraction and connection between this person and you quickly leads to mutual admiration. Almost instantly, you find yourself sharing information with this customer because you feel needed, appreciated, respected, and understood. 
you find that your opinions, values, and outlooks on life are similar. After just one conversation, you feel as if you have known each other a long time. Imagine that your business was full of just these customers. Imagine how fulfilling that would be. Mr. Toastmaster.